Hi everyone and welcome to this quick video on how to set up our desktop app, um, also known as LabTrack. And essentially after you have downloaded the installer from the websites and have installed the app, what you need to do is just um, execute the application, um, allow it to make changes to, to the PC, and then you will see the pop-up uh, screen, there we go to log in. So in this case, you need to be an admin in order to set up the app. So basically I'm just gonna log in with our uh, demo admin account because this is the account that will allow you to choose the equipment and the lab that you want to connect to this PC. So I'm just gonna do that really quick. So that's basically the same email and password that you have on your uh, browser when you normally log into Close to Market and then you log in. Then you have a few steps. Basically, this just asks you for the lab that you want to connect. So I'm gonna go ahead with our biology lab. Next up is the equipment name. So this is where you select the equipment that is currently connected to the PC where you're installing the desktop app. I'm gonna go with the centrifuge. And then this is the page where you select the requirements. So the app has two modes one mode that blocks and tracks users, the other one only tracks, it doesn't block them. So it depends all on this answer here. So if you say yes, that you require users to book in advance, that means you will block them from accessing this PC unless they have a booking, in this case, in the next 15 minutes. So whenever a user tries to uh, log into the desktop app to use the PC and the instrument, they need to have a booking within the next 15 minutes. You can change this to like the next 30, for example, or if you don't require people to have a booking, basically just say no and you click next. So those are the two modes, no and yes. And if you say yes, you can define the time window, basically. After that, you are able to set up your admin pin code. This is basically a code that allows you to bypass the login screen. So you don't need to log in. Let's say you need to do some software updates on the PC or you need to uh, uninstall the app because the PC is going to get retired, whatever you need to do on the PC uh, that you don't want the session to be tracked. Basically just create a, an admin uh, pin code that you can use and I'll show you where you use it. And you're all set. So basically this completes the initial setup. You can click on the settings wheel to change any of the things we just uh, went through, but uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, after this, you should log out, and then the screen is ready for uh, whoever wants to use the PC and the instrument, and Cluster Market starts tracking the sessions um, from this point onwards. This is uh, how a user would interact with the app, just same email and same password they have on Cluster Markets. And in this case, the instrument requires a booking to use, as you can see, because I've uh, said so in the settings. And if you want to bypass it with the admin code, this is the link where you click. Basically click on it, enter your code, and then you can access the computer without uh, having to log in. If it's a regular user, they would have to log in with an email and a password.